Okay, these are the culprits right here. This is what we call a service valve in uh, the modern air conditioner. It's not really a service valve. Um, a service valve is a little more complex than this one. This one just has a plunger that goes down. When the plunger is all the way down, there's access from here, the tap, to the line set here. Uh, but it's closed off here. The service valve actually has a back seat on it. Uh, this is a real service valve uh, that's used in, uh, it's mostly used in refrigeration now, not so much air conditioning. A little bit of background. Before these things, we use fittings like this. Now, this is not the complete fitting. There's another piece fits on that side, but here's your liquid and your suction line. These were called quick connects, aero quip, aircraft fittings, whatever you want to call them. The, generally, the line set was pre-charged, the outdoor unit was pre-charged, the indoor coil was pre-charged, and you simply connected these together. They broke this thing right here, which is a very thin piece of copper. It punctured that, and uh, then you just you put it together, and it was ready to go. That was all great and wonderful, but after a few years, these things started leaking. And so you'd end up replacing them with solder fittings. In comes the engineers. And we got these things. Okay. These were supposed to be the solution. We had so many leaks in air conditioners, and we were trying the Montreal protocols had come through, and we were trying to stop leaks. So they come up with this thing here. This is going to stop all the leaks. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work. These fittings, all they have inside here is an O-ring. That's it. That's the seal. And eventually it's going to leak. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is just a plunger in here. Uh, I have some old videos uh, that I did about these things, taking apart, putting new uh, seals in them and stuff. Uh, and you can look at what, what they look like inside. But that's all that seals here. Two things happen to these. Number one, people overheat these fittings. Not so much on this one, but on this one. And it warps this body and the uh, O-ring leaks right away. Uh, the other thing that happens is after a few years of service, kind of like these things, they leak. They leak right here. Now this this is off a ream unit. The ream made these so you can't do anything to them. I wouldn't normally want to fix them anyway, but uh, this is reduced in size so you can't pull a plunger out. Okay, so we're stuck with these things. The big solution that was going to fix everything mostly was the problem itself. We're going to fix this. So how do we fix these? Well, you can see these have been cut out of the unit. Uh, I just took a, a tubing cutter and cut them out of the unit completely. And I replaced them with something like this. which is just a piece of tubing. And of course a smaller one for the 3 8 size. This is uh, ridiculously simple. I'm not going to show you how to put it together. It's, it's pretty much simple stuff. But you either need to swedge these sides here or use a coupling on either side. Drill a hole. Put one of those in. Okay. This is a line tap, right there, a Schrader in it, you will tap that in like that, braze it, we're using 15% uh, Silfos on all this, and 
the couplings or swedgings you will simply braze in. Now this is what it looks like in the unit when it's done. This eliminates virtually all the leaks associated with something like that. The only potential for leak is the uh, tap, which you have to have in order to charge the unit. So you've eliminated this O-ring problem and so on. I have not had any of these fail where I've done this repair. It's a very simple repair. If you have some skills with brazing, you can do it. And um, it should solve that problem on a permanent basis. We're using 15% Silphos, probably the best product out there to seal. It either leaks like a sieve at first or it seals forever. That's pretty much how they work out. So this is, this is my uh, solution for this. I've done this on several units. Well, I've done it on dozens and dozens of units. But lately I've done it on a, on a few units too. I'm kind of retired now. But, but just replacing this whole mess, yeah, you, you can't pump it down now. Okay? That's the bad thing. Saying, well, someone's going to say, well, you can't pump it down. You couldn't pump it down anyway because the problem was the leak was in the valve so you couldn't pump it down anyway this to me is the best solution out there something like that and you're pretty much done hope this makes sense and that's it on this one